as a faithful reader of the works of your great compatriots, such as Karl Popper and British August von Hayek, I would like to warn all those who look for order and security in the public life not to do it at the cost of freedom. In the history of Europe and Austria, of Poland and Bulgaria, the road to security has all too often become the road to serfdom. Is this an even bigger problem, Jacques Rupnik, than we've been talking about the migration crisis on the show almost nonstop the last couple of weeks? Is this what Donald Tusk is talking about, an even bigger problem, a more uh, existential problem for Europe? Yes, uh, the two things are connected because, you know, on one hand, you have the question of the institutions, the, the framework for democracy, the rule of law, the kind of institution that we share. And the second question is more uh, about what kind of values, what kind of society are we going to uh, be? And of course, the migration crisis revealed very sharp differences about that. But the two things are connected. And the way Donald Tusk put it, it's interesting in Austria, which is a kind of bridge between East Central Europe and West Central Europe. In fact, this is the way the Austrian pr prime minister defines himself. He says, I want to be the, uh, the, the bridge builder. And this is not just because he's taking over the European presidency. I think in some way he is in this dual situation. But what Donald Tusk just said is very interesting. He reminds the Austrians about Karl Popper and Hayek, the, roads, the author of The Roads to Serfdom. You know, people who lived under communism had a long time <laughs> to think and read <laughs> these authors and meditate about how you drift into an authoritarian or totalitarian system. And so he is telling the Austrians, but I think he mentioned uh, uh, other countries as well, and he's telling us, you know, we, t we shouldn't take democracy for granted. The slide towards authoritarianism or sometimes something even more nasty can happen progressively. And uh, this is a kind of warning. And I think that this is, uh, uh, this is exactly the tone that with which we should approach what is happening in Poland. You know, it's no use screaming, you know, there's a dictatorship. No, uh, this is not Putin. This is not Erdogan. This is not something. Like no, it's a drift away from liberal democracy towards something hybrid semi-authoritarian temptation, let's put it that way. And to have this warning coming from a Polish, former Polish prime minister who happens to be chair of the European Council is, I think, very timely and very useful for his country, but for everybody else. The fact that he says that in Vienna means this is something that all Europeans should take on board. We should not be complacent. Mm. We should look around in all countries, including this one, all of us have to share this concern about the fragility of democracy. 